Okay, so in this example, we're going to talk about why absolute value is always positive, and this is pretty straightforward. So all you have to remember is that absolute value is always talking about a distance. All right, so for example, if I have the absolute value of 10, simply what this is telling me is it wants to know the distance 10 is from 0, or the origin. Okay, if I have the absolute value of negative 10, it's asking me the same thing. What is the distance negative 10 is from the origin or zero? And you can go back to a number line for more of a visualization, right? If we just put both of these on the number line, so this is zero, we'll say this is negative 10, this is 10. So again, it wants to know what is the distance 10 is from the origin or zero? Well, in this case, right, that's going to be a distance of 10, right? Positive 10. Same thing with negative 10. What is the distance negative 10 is from the origin or zero? Well, again, that's going to be a distance of positive 10. So again, we are talking about distance. Distance cannot be negative. Hence why absolute value will always be positive. So think of it in terms of distance. Absolute value is always asking for the distance from the origin or zero. Hence, it will always be positive. Okay, so that's why absolute value is always positive.